Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for attending this uh, short press meeting. Uh, I'd again like to use the opportunity to welcome the General Secretary to Iceland. He's been uh, an excellent friend and ally of Iceland for a very long time. He's been here a great many times. And this is, I think, the second time he's been here in his, his current position. We had uh, a very uh, constructive and informative meeting, discussed many aspects of Iceland's participation in NATO and things that are of concern now in the run-up to the uh, summit in uh, Wales in three weeks. Uh, amongst the things we discussed, obviously, was the situation in, in, in Ukraine and in Afghanistan and other uh, international global issues that uh, NATO is concerned with. Also, developments within NATO itself, uh, NATO's role in, in the world and how that can be uh, strengthened, how, how NATO can work towards peace and prosperity. And we discussed uh, Arctic matters, uh, developments in the Arctic, and as we've done before, Iceland's interest in, uh, in helping in, in building up uh, facilities, particularly regarding uh, search and rescue. So all in all, uh, a very good and informative meeting and uh, a good preparation for the upcoming summit. Would you like to uh, add something, Mr. General Secretary? Thank you very much, uh, Prime Minister. Uh, it is really a great pleasure uh, to be back uh, in, in Iceland. Um, this was uh, the first country uh, I visited after I took office uh, as a NATO Secretary General um, in um, 2009. Uh, and uh, it plays, uh, Iceland plays a crucial role uh, within uh, NATO. Um, the transatlantic uh, relationship is at the heart uh, of NATO. Um, the cooperation between North America uh, and Europe, um, uh, which makes our citizens safer and our countries stronger. And Iceland embodies that transatlantic relationship. You contribute uh, to uh, NATO's operation in Afghanistan. You contribute uh, to uh, the reinforcements which we have deployed since the beginning uh, of the Russia-Ukraine crisis. Uh, you are helping to improve uh, our cooperation with partners such as Finland and Sweden by hosting the very successful Iceland Air Meet. Um, you also strongly engaged uh, in promoting the issue of uh, women, peace and uh, security. So I thank you for all Iceland has done uh, for NATO. In a few weeks, we will have an important summit uh, in Wales, uh, a summit where we must make NATO's collective defence uh, our relationship with partner countries and the ties of friendship across the Atlantic even stronger. Russia's actions uh, against Ukraine have been a wake-up call. Um, they show that the rules which have governed uh, international relations since the end of the Cold War can no longer be taken for granted. Um, and I will look to Iceland and as to every ally to play a full role uh, in our response uh, to the challenges we face. For example, by building on the success uh, of uh, the Iceland air meet, uh, by expanding it uh, to uh, cover search and rescue, as the Prime Minister mentioned, and by exploring ways to contribute uh, to shared NATO projects uh, to enhance our capabilities. In these unpredictable times, we need NATO more than ever. And I count on Iceland's support uh, as we make the alliance even fitter, faster and more flexible. Thank you. Thank you very much.